Hey, it's Chris Loud. Starting another 15 minute abstract warm up painting exercise. Uh, this one is based off a uh, image. You can see the sketch on the left that just has really some shapes in it. And that's kind of what I wanted to do is just start off with some shapes uh, and work on an abstract painting and just see where it goes. This is based on a picture of my son making bread. Uh, so by the end, you will see a, a little bit of, of the, uh, what I started out with here, uh, but uh, it, will, it will go through some different uh, versions here. Um, at the end, I'll show you the, the uh, painting after 15 minutes, and then I stopped that and, and walked away and came back to it and uh, really felt uh, needed a little bit more work. and. I shouldn't say needed, but I wanted to work on it a little bit more because I felt like there was something there. Um, so I'll show you a, a couple of uh, iterations of, of this painting. I'm painting with a uh, water-soluble black crayon uh, for some lines and then uh, yellow ochre, which I'm putting on now, some cerulean blue, some Payne's gray, titanium white, as well as some magenta. So just working with those colors and and playing around and, and having some fun. And I also, as you can see there, use a little bit of a white water-soluble crayon. Um, yeah, I, I uh, sometimes will will do that with a picture and just look at it and see if I can break it down into some shapes, some very basic shapes, um, and just put them down and and play and see what what happens and see what I can what I can do with it. I was not super pleased with with what was there after the fifteen minutes. Uh, it wasn't bad um, in my opinion. Um, it was a little bright, a little busy, so I played with it a little bit more. Um, still wasn't happy with it, and then uh, decided to bring in a, a brayer and, and just roll some some white and uh, a mix of white and yellow ochre uh, over some of this, and uh, was was pretty happy with it. It softened the image up, or excuse me, the painting up quite a bit, and uh, just really settled it down a little bit. But right now you're looking and at least as I'm looking um, I don't see a specific focal point. Not that there has to be a focal point in an abstract painting but um, this one I, I was kind of working towards a focal point. And so I started adding a little bit of magenta around this this uh, yellow ochre circle, um, trying to work with that as the focal point. And with the image that, that was the focal point, that is the, the dough that, that my son was kneading at the time. But I often do non-objective abstracts. Uh, I haven't done a whole lot of objective abstracts recently. So I thought I'd start doing a few of those and, and play with that. As you can tell as I'm talking, I, uh, I like to play with my paintings quite a bit. I saw an artist talk, uh, it was a couple months ago, and one of the words of advice that he gave was to always make sure when you're painting, you're, you're painting to play and have a good time doing it. Um, if you're not having fun painting, you shouldn't be doing it. So I've kind of taken that to heart. I'd love to say that everything I'm playing with turns out really well, but you know it doesn't. Uh, but uh, I enjoy doing it. So I'm getting close uh, here to the end. I'm just adding a little bit more color, and you'll see the excuse me white, and you'll see the finished image coming up that I that I ended up with. 
again, not not bad or anything, but um, just kind of busy. So I'm pulling the tape off, and I, I do rip a little bit of the painting at, at one point right there, and uh, went back and kind of sealed that back down. There. So I'm just showing you a few orientations here as well of of what that looked like, and I'll show you the final, or excuse me, the 15 minute version right here. And then I came back in, add a little bit more paint, a little bit more marks, not much. I still wasn't happy with it, so this next one is where I added the brayer, and I, I really actually think that turned out okay. Very soft, and just here's a few more orientations of that, flipping it um, from side to side. That one I, I liked okay right there. But I think overall, it's the, the original orientation. So, hope you enjoyed.